Hi everyone, I'm Noah and in this video I'm going to be talking about my Mac pack. I will briefly go through how each piece works so that you know if these items are right for you. Hopefully this gives you an idea concerning how best to complement your Mac. Alright, let's get started. So over here we have the MacBook M2 Pro, the baseline model. So from when I purchased this, this is supposed to be, for the price, the best product for video editing. Over here, we have the small, slim palm pads that I purchased. Of course, all of these will be linked in the description. I purchased them so that I could put my hands here and kind of do so without having like sore undersides of my hands here. Over here, we have my Corsair mat for my mouse. This is pretty smooth. I didn't purchase the Magic trackpad from Apple because I already had this for my gaming laptop and it works pretty well with the Magic mouse as it is. I got the Magic mouse because I heard it works really well with the Mac over here. And yeah, it can be kind of tiring always, you know, using the trackpad with the display. But on the other hand, you get to just tap and kind of get to where you want to go like that which is the downside with the mouse. You, you don't really have that. You have to kind of click. But on the flip side, what you get here is that you can basically just, with one less finger, do every feature that this would otherwise do. So for example, you can do with four fingers, switch desktop interfaces. What I mean by that is you zoom out. These are your desktop interfaces. So let's get out of here. But then with this mouse, you can just use two fingers instead of four. So watch this, two fingers, you basically swipe like that. So that's kind of what you get with the mouse. But uh, as Apple said on their website, you kind of can have your hands get um, really tired with using the mouse. And so whenever I kind of use my body as a feedback loop, if I feel tired of using this or my hands get kind of like cramp-like, then I'll just switch to here. So there's a bit of side info there. And then next here, we have the, pardon if I pronounce this correctly, the Von Holzhausen sleeve. So if I remember correctly, this is like $100 from Apple. I purchased this from Von Holzhausen exclusively. They have this exact item for 50 bucks. So I would recommend that. So you get to save some money. And with this is you got this you can't really see it. It's a magnetic clip or whatever it is. Kind of just gets on and it stays on. So in detail, if I were to say this correctly, you kind of have two pouches here, larger one for the the Mac here, and smaller one you have for your cables and small accessories. You can't really have the the battery pack in side here because it's too big but for most other small accessories you could have them in here but yeah i would certainly recommend this it uh, protects your mac pretty well and you might say well no why don't you have a cheaper 10 20 or 30 dollar sleeve well those typically though not all they typically have zippers on the sleeve and what i found from researching is that when you basically have a zipper like containment of the mac you run the risk of having it scratch and so every time my criteria is when i'm buying a sleeve i make sure that it doesn't have a zipper and if it doesn't have a zipper and it seems to be made of quality material like this it's made of like vegan leather equivalent something like that then i would be fine with purchasing that which is why I purchased this. So, yeah. So, next we have the Mac locks. So, over here, I basically just looped this around through here in a circle to kind of get it where it is right now, like this. And it kind of makes it harder for thieves to take this. So, how this works, I'll show you. So, over here, I attached a, on both sides, this uh, 
product they call a, a ledge for the Mac lock uh, comes with this right here. And so how it works is you kind of go on the other underside here, attach uh, this part. So what we want here is for these two metal things to align. So if you see here, this is like an X. We want it to be one small rectangle. So I'll show you. I put this in this component right here that I just put in. It's like, like a key it, that comes with it as well. So I put it in and then when I turn it, you now get a rectangle. And so that will fit in here. So I put it in and then to make it stay in, I kind of make it an X by turning this. So I kind of press down, turn, so then I could let it go. Now, theoretically, this should stay in place. See, now it's in place. Lastly, we have the Apple polishing cloth, which is $20. So you might be asking, why would I spend $20 on a polishing cloth? What I researched is this is actually the best cloth to use to clean your Apple products, iPhone, Apple mouse, the Surface exterior, and the screen of the Mac. And so that, that's why I got this. Say I have some, I don't know if you can see it, I have some grease and or fingerprint marks on here. So if I use this, hopefully you see that it looks better now. So yeah, those are all the main products I have for my Mac pack. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.